Turn on the monitor by pressing the on and off button. When the status bar is fully loaded, it is ready for patient admission. To admit the patient, press the adult icon to enter required information. Enter patient type, ID, name, age, and gender to complete the mission. Users can enter the patient ID using a barcode reader. There are six screen modes, which are standard, big number, tabular trends, graphical trends, oxyCRG, and event review. Select mode, which is required on the screen. Through message list, you can check the status of the patient. The data shows the previous and current status and things which need to be taken care of. For example, it shows that the patient has a low SpO2 status. The menu on and off function helps the user to organize the screen in a more efficient way. You can remove unnecessary parameters shown on the screen by removing the related icons. This can be reversed by entering the display setup and turning the related icon on again. It can be applied to early warning score, IBP, temperature, and ETCO2. Freeze mode can provide previous measured waveform data. Data from current time to two minutes ago can be checked. When standby mode is applied, the alarm does not sound. You can always return back to monitoring again. The right side of the product shows the basic and optional parameters of the product. The basics are 3.5 lead ECG, Mediana SPO2, NIBP from A and D, respiration, two channels of temperature, and heart and pulse rate. The optionals are 12 lead ECG with the University of Glasgow algorithm, ETCO2 with Respronix and Kingst options, and two channels of IVP, and lastly, SPO2 from Nelcor. By selecting the ECG waveform from the screen, Nine different options regarding ECG are shown. Each icon shows different results. You can change the value by pressing each icon and selecting different information. You can select different leads, change the sweep speed, and the size of the waveform. ST level measurement position can also be changed. The ST level can be selected between 60 to 80 milliseconds after the J point. Changing filter mode. The M40 reduces noise on the ECG signal by offering different frequency filters. Turning pace detection on and off is possible. It detects and filters pacemaker generated signals so that they will not be considered in determining a patient's heart rate. Removing the grid and replacing it back is also feasible. Arrhythmia setups go into more detail by showing various features of the setup. With the 12 lead ECG option included, the screen can provide up to 12 waveforms. SAT seconds. The SAT seconds feature helps to distinguish clinically significant events from minor and brief desaturations. In auto mode, it has short and long-term interval. The long-term interval mode measures continuous set of intervals 
from 2 minutes to 120 minutes. The short term interval mode measures continuous set of intervals below 1 minute. By selecting the sweep speed, you can control the speed of the IBP waveform trace which moves across the screen. Various label selections are feasible. You can adjust the amplitude of the IBP waveform without affecting the signal gain. The same icons appear when ETCO2 is selected. By pressing these icons, you can control the size and speed of the waveform. Based on several vital signs, the early warning score helps to recognise the early signs of deterioration in patients and triggers an appropriate alarm. The monitor also displays the early warning score menu when pressing the menu button in the early warning score area. In the menu, the protocols can be set. By pressing the confirm button, you can save the trend data including the early warning score total value. Data recording is divided into four types. Trend data, 12 lead recording data, OxyCIG and event review. Trend data. The monitor presents trend information in tabular format for all monitored parameters. The newest data appears at the bottom of tabular trends. For the NIBP trends, the data may display the latest measurement. 12 lead record data. The monitor displays 10 data on screen and 100 records can be saved. OxyCRG. The review screen shows the heart rate range and SpO2 range. If you change the screen into event list, it shows other features. Event review. The data can be saved before and after an event occurs. The monitor supports barcode readers. When the barcode reader is connected to the monitor, the barcode icon is displayed on the screen. Users can enter the patient ID using a barcode reader. Product setting and serial number can also be entered with a barcode reader. The intended use of the central monitoring system is to display physiological waves, parameters, trends and format data for strip chart recordings and printings and provide alarms from other network patient monitors at a centralised location. The central monitoring system provides a retrospective review of alarms, physiologic waves and parameters from its database. It is used in all areas of a hospital and hospital type facilities. The central monitoring system includes a wide range of features that can easily be configured to suit the needs and preferences of specific clinical applications. It provides real-time waveform monitoring up to 32 patients being monitored by patient monitors on the system's local area network or wireless access point. You can summarise the M40 with its four key features. User-friendly, reliable, full set of measurement parameters and multiple communication options. User-friendly. The M40 is a 10.4 inch touchscreen monitor with various screen modes. Reliable. The M40 uses global leading technologies like 12 lead ECT interpretation algorithm from the University of Glasgow. Measurement parameters. Basic and optional parameters are provided. Communication. Secure and reliable communication is available through InfoWare G and X.